Randy Hall's framing day number two. First day was pretty good. Roger, Donnie, Gabe, and myself, we got the bulk of the structure up. We got all the walls up, the lofts built. We got the roof almost on, three sheets left to lay, two joists left to put in. We got the wall sheeting on. Basically, we have just a couple pieces left to wrap up and some seams to block. Today, we're going to wrap the house with house wrap, and then we're going to get the windows set. We got three windows to frame we're gonna now that we have the window sizes and we kind of have an idea what the layout feels like we're gonna set and place those windows we're gonna just make some fine-tuning adjustments to framing and then tomorrow Sunday day four possibly today we're gonna work on a little deck to put out in front and we're gonna and we're gonna also put up the uh, stairs the hulk of the stairs so that's going to be an interesting video to see what that looks like um a little math we got a little drawing that i did up last night preparation for today and then we're just going to take it on see what it looks like hopefully it looks good good enhancements to the high, tiny house and I think that's kind of the moral of the story today is that as you go you have to be open to change you have to be open to adapt you have to be open to make some adjustments to the build otherwise it's not going to end up the way you expect it to end up so that was today we started cutting in the window in the loft and boy we realized it was going to be way too hot up there and we didn't have enough light with the windows we had so we ended up having to add two more windows that give us two more openings that allow more for air more airflow that's a good change the lots were dark now they're light we have good airflow to the point where the top is nearly the same temperature as the bottom obviously a little warmer but it's just it ended up much better we're pretty happy with that the uh Tyvek went well, the roof went well, we ended up putting some 2x6 boards on the top, that looks pretty good. We're probably going to wrap those with aluminum, but it really just gave a nice dimension to the overall look of the house, kind of broke up the flatness of it. The extra windows seem to enhance the way it looks from the outside, I think the front has a better look because of the way the windows were spaced. We moved the transom from where we expected it, we ended up centering it over the kitchen and the stove and refrigerator which I think was a good change it looks much more balanced on the inside um, all in all it was a good day we just had a lot of logistical things that had to be buttoned up today a lot of you know adjustments with the windows that we we, we ended up going with a bigger window in the front living room than we originally planned so we ended up having to make that opening six inches bigger so just things like that. Things like that when you start the build, you have these ideas of where you're going and you end up changing what you're doing. And I think that was the lesson learned today is be open, reflect carefully on what you did, adjust if you think you have to, and don't be afraid to step back and look at it a little differently. Take a look, take a different approach, think about it differently, think about where it's going to be because once you put the siding on and you finish the inside making those changes yeah they're possible but they become really difficult so just be open to make those changes right up front 
we got this little deck finished today. That was a good thing. Put decking on it. We got the cedar wraps on it. We got the stairs on it. That's pretty good. It's not attached to the house. It'll definitely be something that we think about how we move with us. It's built to stand by itself. It's built to just stand in front of the house and be adjustable so that we have a little place to put a grill on. You know, we'll probably put a 